you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. All right, so now we're going to continue our celebrity news. We got two celebrity topics to talk about. We're going to be moving on to Nicki Minaj, okay? So, you know, we talked about Cardi B. We're going to talk about Nicki Minaj. She got her own court drama. She got her own court drama. And this court drama actually involves a lady by the name of Miss Hughes. Now, over a couple of years ago, there were some issues between Miss Hughes and Nicki Minaj's husband before allegedly Nicki Minaj came into the picture. Now, we're going to read this, but I'm just going to give you a little background for what I know. Allegedly, what happened was Nicki Minaj's husband was one age and the girl Miss Huge was another age, which was allegedly like two or three years younger than him. He allegedly forced himself on her and that led him to have court matters, okay? In these court matters, the documents are basically highlighting that he took a plea bargain uh, in regards to the charges. And there are questions about um, the young lady's, her stand, was she pressured, was it a law, all of this stuff. The main thing is that there really is actually court documents pertaining to this situation. So that's the main foundation that I think that we should know about this situation, because when there is a situation like that and is able to go to the courts and they're able to get someone to plea bargain, that may mean that there was something that occurred that made that person feel like they wasn't going to win. Now, I know it's the tone where they say, oh, black men, they pushed us in the corner. Yes, they do. But with that goes to say, the uh, tone that I was getting was that, um, Mr. Petty was pretty known in his neighborhood. His family was known and things like that. So it wasn't a situation where he may didn't have resources. Let's say that. So all of that brings us up to date where Miss Nicki Minaj rekindled a relationship with him. Allegedly, this is all allegedly that I've been talking about because I was been watching it on the side. Allegedly, Miss um, Nicki Minaj, I think she's probably around the same age as the lady Miss Huge because they both younger than him. And uh, allegedly, Nicki Minaj is saying she used to date him back in the day. People saying that he was all over the place and they just wasn't totally together. I don't know how that worked when they was younger, but they rekindled now. And as they rekindle now, his relationship with Nicki Minaj has highlighted his past. And allegedly, this lawsuit that we're about to talk about that's still going on, because you have people that say, oh, it's dropped, it's this, the girl's lying. Well, the judge ain't dropped here. It ain't dropped. Okay, we're going to give you an update. But allegedly, it was pressure put on the young lady once he became stardom ship um, to redact her statement. Not understanding how that will erase the whole situation from happening from people's memories. But, you know, that was allegedly pursued by Nicki Minaj camp, allegedly, which is stupid if it was. We don't even make no sense because if it happened, why are you going to get her to her statement? Like, you're trying to get her to go to jail. You're trying to get him to look innocent. Regardless, the story is out. So it's going to be people that have their own views of it and then everything. So I, I'm just not even understanding that part. But whatever she has, she has enough to file a lawsuit and... I guess want to submit some evidence of everything she claiming. So I kind of brought y'all up to par because I know a lot of people basically saying that um, Nicki Minaj, the case is dropped. But from what I'm reading is that the lady just pulled Nicki Minaj out the case. Like, girl, just get out of here. I'm just about to go after him. Okay. that That's what it looked like. But I'm going to just read it to y'all. Okay. Let's get this. Let us get this. This is why by hot news hip hop. Okay. So Nicki Minaj fa fails to sanction husband Kenneth Petty 
assault accuser. Now, I'm like, what do you mean sanction? What's going on? So let's get into it. Nicki Minaj recently filed, failed to sanction her husband, Kenneth Petty, assault accuser. But it's not a... He, yeah, accuser. Yeah. Okay, they didn't say alleged. Cause I could, I'm gonna say they said alleged because the court, when the court gonna get you, gonna get you some time. It ain't alleged. And I mean, you know, that's how they think. Okay, so Nicki Minaj recently failed to sanction her husband, Kenneth Petty, a uh, assault accuser instead of saying victim, um, and her legal team, according to the court documents obtained by All Hip Hop. Moreover, her issue stems from al allegedly wild statement that Jennifer Hughes' lawyer made to the judge in this case. Although authorities dropped Minaj from the case due to lack of jurisdiction, because they ain't got nothing on her, she got nothing, like they probably couldn't prove it, that she had any, they probably had more, um, more connection to him, to Jennifer Hughes, than Nicki Minaj, or I don't know, it was where she living at. Because jurisdiction could be physical or it could be circumstantial jurisdiction. So if they don't have no circumstantial jurisdiction, this could be a reason why they dropped Nicki Minaj from the case. She still wants, but Nicki Minaj don't want to take a whole glass and shut the hell up and just move on on. I know you a Sagittarius. You just hard-headed like me. But I ain't that hard-headed. She still wants retribution for the time and money she wasted in defending herself. Furthermore, Hughes sued the rapper Star and Petty for harassment, claiming that they pursued her, her redacting her assault allegations against Nikki's husband, when, which was made in two, 1994. Okay, that's a long time ago, like literally. My God. However, the court decided that Ruby, Red Ruby the Sizzler, MC, they talk about Nicki Minaj, motion to sanction Hughes because she tried to sanction her to basically say, you got to have to pay me for my money and me representing myself since you're trying to drop me from this case. So that's basically what's going on. Motion to sanction Hughes and her attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, for defamatory statement and false allegations that was made during the trial. The court does not find Hughes' decision to pursue a motion to default judgment against Nikki sanctionable. None the wise sustaining. So she tried to move forward with a default judgment against Nikki Minaj, but it doesn't mean that she was trying to get default judgment against the husband. Okay? Because when we finish reading this, the case is not closed. So the judge basically denied the decision to pursue a default case against Nicki Minaj. Nonetheless, Nicki claims the motion lacked merit, ruling Judge James Co. here. Hughes did not have any obligation to withdraw her motion for default judgment against Nicki simply because counsel for Nicki considered the motion frivolous. So basically what they're saying is that she may have said some, like the, the lawyer may have said some reckless stuff about Nicki Minaj. And whatever decision that Jennifer, her huge lawyer and her made, they probably was like, listen, we have more chance to pursue him by himself than her and all her goons. So let's drop her from the case and let's focus in on him because he don't got the backup that she do. She is his backup. And people, this is what I'm thinking from a lawyer perspective of why they would drop Nikki. Because when Nikki's involved, it's the whole, uh, all her, what do they call? All the Nikki fans, okay? Which cause drama and the, all of the publicity. But if they just focus on Kenneth, then it's gonna make it lower. So now they 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 basically say, okay, we're going to pursue the default judgment on her just to get her out of the case. We know the judge is gonna say no. So that's denied. So Nikki's out of the case. They didn't probably because reading on because we're gonna read. They didn't pursue a default judgment against the husband Kenneth Petty because it's still going on. So Nicki Minaj feels salty possibly and like, well, since you want to play chess and try to control, basically try to control the arena by pulling me out, 
I'm going to go after you for defamatory statements, what you said in the court. And the judge like, you can't do that. You can't do that. Okay. Um, he said he that just because he won't let you do that doesn't mean that he agreed with the statements that, and I'm gonna tell you what the statements was, but he's not gonna pull it out of the record. She wants that out of the record because if anything happens in these future court cases or anything, and if it's that's on the record, they can pull this statement about Nicki Minaj out. Now let's see what the statement is talking about. Okay, so that's what I broke down with the default judgment, what she was doing. Now, look at this. This is Mr. Miss Minaj and Mr. Minaj. Okay. Okay. So right here, it says, still, these accusations and claims of false damage of uh, actions and statements seem to go both ways. For example, Huge alleged, alleged that Nicki Minaj and Kevin Penny offered $500,000 to drop the case and sent private detective to stalk her and her her daughter, in addition to provoking her to move between states. After Huge and her team dropped Minaj from the case, just like with the case with Cardi B when she went after Tasha K and she was going after the girl, the lady, um, what's her name? Um, Ah, the one who originally talked about Cardi B is right. I'm, I'm about to call a storm. Whatever her name is, that young lady, they dropped her from the case. They dropped her from the case because they dropped her from the case because they knew that she, she, it wasn't going to matter. She wasn't going to be able to pay or whatever, but they didn't drop her. Actually, they just went for a default judgment against her and she ended up losing because she never showed up in response. So they separated her case from from Tasha K case. Let me correct that. And here they try to do something similar, but they like, let's just get Nicki Minaj out of here. We just not going to separate it, but sue a separate. Let's just put her in the back burner and we're going to go for a default judgment. We know the judge ain't going to give it to us and we're going to move forward. Okay. So this is the statements that they talked about. Now we know what alleged Miss Hughes is saying. So she tried to seek accountability for their alleged unfair and unfounded actions. So this is after Huge and her team dropped Minaj from the case after pursuing default judgment. They didn't drop her. That was a that was a chess move. Okay, the, uh, these most recent defamatory statement made by Huge Huge attorney Blackburn regarding her involvement in New York gangs, her legal team cyber uh, stalking the accuser, former lawyer in offensive comments. The, the lawyer saying this happened. So it's, it's um, actually it's actually not just Miss Huge. So despite the uh, judge siding with Blackburn, which is the lawyer for Miss Hughes, he made it clear that lack of ability to sanction, because he said he can't sanction them, I told you, doesn't mean his inflammatory actions are endorsed by the case. Blackburn should not allegedly take uh, take the denial of motion for sanction as in any way endorsing his behavior. So he basically saying, um, I don't endorse him talking reckless and saying crazy stuff about Nicki Minaj on the stand, but I can't sanction him from saying these things because lawyers say what they want when they're out there. Okay. So only time will tell how far this affects Nicki career and peace of mind. Regardless, stick around. H N A H. For more updates stories so right here we know that the case is still going on let's read what let's, let's let me just read the comments because i read a comment i was like baby people are not b so these stars need to get it together nikki get it together there's like nikki minaj pull your nose out of the mess it has nothing to do with you and save your money on you and your bamboony this happened before you and the dude hooked up pay close attention he's draining you and your career and your money just keep in mind of you and your child that's what somebody has said and the next time i'm just gonna read he said two grown adults in their 40s throwing up gang signs they said it not me they said it not me <laughs> so 
Um, yeah, people being woke, Nicki Minaj, get it together, baby, because you done put a, a weird person in your life, and I don't even understand how you're comfortable, but I'm not judging. I'm just asking how you're comfortable with somebody like that. I'm real funny, but you know, I'm abstinent, so I'm sorry. Somebody like that won't be by me. I'll be like, you're crazy, but that's who you love. You know, love is blind, and it'll take over your mind. All right, if you think it's love, it's really not. You need to elevate and find. The real estate market often seems like a distant world where only an elite of experts is successful. In a time of so much uncertainty in the air and bad news, realist investing can seem intimidating. But today, I want to tell you that if you make the right decision today, you can enter the real estate market from the back door bad credit record? No credit at all? Do you dread the idea of having a home loan? Do you dream of owning investment properties? You are in the right place and right time because we have created a program which is a tax lien and deed investment online course of only 14 hours. This course is specially designed for people like you who have big dreams. You will learn at your own pace and everything from your home computer. This is your chance. Join our membership for $19.99 a year. What are you waiting for? Visit our website primetimehomebuyerbuyback.org and sign up today for course access.